Hello everyone, Alexandra Coat here again. Today we are looking over TickTick. So TickTick is a task management tool and it's honestly very similar to everything else that's out there on the market from Todoist to some of the other tools I've already reviewed on this channel. Don't forget you can subscribe to see more unsponsored reviews so you can get an honest opinion on these tools. Now, to get started with TickTick, you have this very simple dashboard. And from here, you can straight away go on and add tasks. So tasks are added to your task list, which in TickTick, it's just called an inbox. And I'm going to add the SEO audit task. And here you can add just, you know, descriptions, a due date, and you have a couple of extra options in here. So you don't have to manually select the task. You can also add a reminder, which I would always recommend, and you can set it on repeat. You also have the option by clicking here to start adding some subtasks, and you're just going to add as many as needed, and then as you tick them, they will get to appear here, and you will see the progress at the top via this blue bar, and here as well through this circle, which once you mark, it gets completed. There's also the option to prioritize a task. So I can always go back and have it as a due task and add a priority. And you know, you can just add more tasks as you wish. Then here at the top, you have the option to order them by title, by a tag, by priority, or custom as you wish to just order them around according to your own preferences. And then you have the option to just display more details, show a countdown. This is super handy so that you can see when the due date is. Now on the left side, you can see all of the tasks that are due today. So if you have the habit of writing everything you need to do for the day in the morning, you can just go ahead and add maybe a meeting, some research, whatever, and everything will be added as due today. And then you can just go to the task and maybe change its due date as you wish, and it will get taken to your actual list, which is all of the tasks that are due over the next seven days. So usually you want to prioritize work on these. And again, this will be your inbox where everything is listed. Then you can create lists to categorize and manage tasks. You can use these either to better organize your work or as projects, for example, for SEO tasks. I'm also going to create the folder like marketing to just have them better organized. And now I can just start creating tasks in here if you just want better organization. And for example, I'm going to set this as due today and I can just go and see it on my main list for tasks that are due today. Then you have the option to add tags. So this is an extra step at giving the details of a task. So for example, for client, then you're going to add a number for the client and I'm going to change the color. You can even have parents tags, save the tag. And now when you create a task, the tag will appear here at the top and you can also see it here or you can go to your usual task, add the hashtag and you will manually add the tag to just other tasks you have. Again, just a hashtag and the tag is added. Then you have your filters, which is a paid feature, which basically lets you create filters as you wish by combining multiple filters and really selecting the ones that work best for you. Finally, you also have these completed tasks in here so that you can see what you've worked on during a specific time frame. but the advanced search, again, it's a paid feature. And you also have your trash in case you have deleted a task. Now for extra collaboration opportunities, just clicking on a task, you have here at the bottom the option to comment so that you can collaborate on this. There's no reply option, so it's really just a basic chat. And you have some extra options like adding a subtask from here. Let me just write a test. And this is more efficient than having these subtasks in here, but essentially they kind of work the same way. Then you have the option to pin, to prioritize and highlight a task, some tags, uploads, 
task activities, a paid feature, which is essentially an activity log that lets you see who's changed something on a task and who's working on it. You can also save tasks as templates. So they really have all advanced features for task management. So that's nothing to worry about. You also have your calendar view if you prefer working this way, but it's a paid feature. And again, your search here on the left side for simple search options. Then there's also the notifications on the left side for general shared lists activity, as well as for changes on your activities. So when should you use TickTick? TickTick is really best for someone who needs advanced task management features at no cost or at a limited cost. Ideally, you want to use it if you're maybe a freelancer who doesn't bill by the hour or a startup with a few team members. Once you start getting multiple people into here, your lists and tags and even filters will just be a bit too many to handle. So you will have to really look for a different tool at that point. Now, if you want more videos like these, don't forget to leave a comment, like this video and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Enjoy your day.